Hey guys, welcome back to our channel. How's your day going? Mine's going all right. My boyfriend just left me to go go to work. And I'm like, <laughs> take me with you. Just kidding. No, he's coming back in a few hours. Yeah, in a few hours. So I have a little bit of time to film. And I thought I'd show you guys what I got from Shopness A. But before I get into that, don't forget to like this video subscribe to the video turn on your notifications because now we might start vlogging yeah vlogging because on the september 1st is the day i leave to hawaii and let me tell you the reason why it's so exciting because one i've never been there two i'm literally flying there to live with my boyfriend so I'm like really scared because I've never been on an airplane. I'm like, so I got seven products from Shop Miss A, and three of them were eyelashes. They're Kira, Kara, don't know if I'm saying this wrong, correct me. Eyelashes, 100% human hair, and number 85, I mean 805, in color black. Let me take off the. Yeah, I did wear false lashes before, but I stopped wearing them after a while. I just need to get my eyes on the rest. And then the third one's gonna be number 43, black. And then next is gonna be a beauty blender that came in a little bag like this, just looks like this. And it does say you can wet it or use it dry. It says, use with primer, foundation, powders, cream blushes, and other complexion products. Unique design for great for large areas of your face. Hard to reach. Okay, we'll see if it does its job. And the next one I got was a brush cleaning egg. Um, I don't know why I bought another one. Maybe because of the time that I was ordering it, I wasn't too sure if my boyfriend was going <laughs> to buy my makeup stuff online for me. Uh, my boyfriend's the best. Sorry, but um, next is the Wonder Skin Perfect Plur Blur Primer. Don't don't forget about Blur guys who went to EDC withdrawals. But Wonder Skin, I guess it's like a primer. It says how to use apply to center of your face outwards to your skin before applying foundation and then you just let it set before putting out a foundation like any other primer and you can tell it's kind of glittery glittery glitter inside that's kind of dope I smell it let's put it on our hand <clears throat> So it comes out clear with some sparkly stuff. Cool. And then we have the LA Color Contour Stick. It's in the color Highlight. I didn't know they have other sticks. The only reason why I bought these ones because they were on the best seller what mainly people buy off that site. So I thought, hey, nah, let's give it a try. Yeah. All right, so for today's look, we're just gonna start off with the um, face primer and it did say that you move outwards towards your face so we're gonna use an elf small stipple a brush I don't know about my life that time alright so that just dirt So we're gonna do like little stripes or however you put on yours. <laughs> Alright, so that's all we do. We're gonna let it set. Now it does say it blurs out. We shall see if it does. I don't know if I should um, spray 
my spray on top of it or just like let it sit, let it see how it is by itself. Um, so we're gonna start off, I keep saying um, 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 like who does this girl think she is? So just keep it coming. Bonnie, dark brow for my brows. I'm just taking off my makeup after. So <clears throat> what I usually like to do is I use my e.l.f. contour and I use that banana shade. And what I normally do is conceal the bottom. I do not do the top. I usually use foundation for that part. And you just grab a flat brush, a flat eyeliner brush. It's like this. It's from e.l.f. It's very handy. Alright. So, yep. And then. Right, just grab a beauty blender or grab an angled fluffy brush. It's not from e.l.f. It was a brush that I got. Okay. And then with the beauty blender. Basically with the same brush that you're gonna use from the beginning, the flat brush. I don't this was a dollar. I found it at my local Target. So I, I, I don't know why. Last time I went to my Target, they always sell out of these, but I was fortunately there. They were restocking, and I was like, yo, give me one. So you're just going to basically do what you did to the bottom, to the top side. Try not to. Um, So we're going to start with the e.l.f. matte eyeshadow palette once again and we're going to use I'm guessing these two shades throughout the whole look because I kind of want like a natural not too dramatic look. And I just grabbed a wet and wild blending fluffy brush I'm gonna start at the outer corner and just go inwards not too harsh but lightly this is I think this one's gonna be your transition color so Just grab a little bit more. Take out the excess. And kind of put it like where you did before, but try not to make it too harsh. I did that many times before. Well, I'm still learning to use makeup, so. You guys have like any website you guys want me to order off of? This 
Wet and Wild concealer brush. Just to put a little more depth to it. And then one more time with the blending brush, lightly, and then just go over it one more time, not too harsh. Just to make sure there's like no harsh lines. This is normally what I do then with a small little mirror, you know. I thought I ruined my eyeshadow, but I didn't. This is how I do my eyeliner. I know people will be like, yo, you're doing your eyeliner wrong. Let's just see if I can get this. Already put on one. Hold on. That was Alice in Wonderland, but already put on one eyelash, but I think I'm gonna take it off because it literally stuck right there. But it's okay because we work around our stuff. This is gonna be so hard to put on camera. Alright ladies, I hope you did enjoy the video. This is my personal look. I kind of do like on an everyday basis, just depends. But I hope you did enjoy the video. Like I said, like and subscribe, turn on your post notifications so we, you can be entered in the little giveaway I'm doing on my channel. Once we reach 100 subscribers, we will do a giveaway. So tell your mom, tell your parents, tell your cats, tell your dogs, tell anybody. I just want to empower people that you don't have to be a professional to make sure you can do makeup you can anyone can do it as long as you're not shy and you just get out there and basically do it for you and I'll keep you guys updated on how the primer went I feel like the lashes is coming off on one side but I'll fix it don't worry all right bye ladies